फ्रेंच प्रीस्ट फादर ऑनरे दे लॉलैनी डेवलप द सिस्टम ऑफ राइस इंटेंसिफिकेशन नोन एज श्री इन मादागास्कर इन द नाइनटीन एटीज in an effort to find sustainable agricultural practices which lead to higher productivity better use of capital and labor less input costs and less requirement of water SRI consists of six key elements of growing rice now let's learn how to execute the six elements The first step is seed treatment to pre-germinate the seeds. Gather seeds and egg or potato. Salt. A big vessel and water. Dissolve enough salt in a vessel. When an egg or potato can float it means that the seeds can be put in water The seeds which rise up to the water surface are discarded The seeds which settle at the bottom of the vessel are healthy seeds Thereafter, bundle them in a moist, thick cloth to facilitate their pre-germination. Keep the seeds moist by covering them for two to three days. After two to three days, the seeds will have sprouted buds, and the first seed root will be about two to three millimeters long. The first step is to spread banana leaves or plastic sheeting on top of the surface area where the raised seed bed will be made. This is done to prevent the roots of the seedlings from penetrating into the soil. Select a level area near or in the main field to enable quicker and easier transport between the nurseries and the fields. The seed beds have to be nutrient rich. The soil mixture will contain approximately 75% soil, 20% well decomposed and dried organic manure or compost, green manure, vermiculture and 10% fresh or charred rice hull. Prepare the surface nursery area by increasing and raising the height of the soil by 4 to 6 inches. Alternately, you can do this by using a wooden frame, bricks, bamboo or wooden sticks above the plastic sheets. The point to remember is to make the seed beds nutrient rich and make sure that the roots of the seedlings don't penetrate too deep. After the seed bed is made, sow the pre-germinated seeds uniformly. Sprinkle soil and pat gently to embed them at about 2 to 3 cm into the soil. Mulch with paddy straw and then sprinkle water immediately. Water the nursery twice a day for 5 days and keep it covered with rice straw 
banana leaves or plastic sheets to keep the soil moist. Make sure that you protect the nursery from heavy rains for the first five days after seeding. Just as in traditional paddy cultivation, the land needs to be carefully ploughed, puddled, levelled and raked. The only difference is that in shree farming, we need to provide a canal at every 3 meters distance to facilitate drainage. Drainage is required to maintain the moisture level uniformly. The seedlings should be planted at a precise spacing, usually 10 by 10 inches. Transplant the young seedlings at the intersection points. Now the land is ready. The 8 to 12 days old seedlings are transplanted with their roots intact. Rice plant roots and canopies grow better if spaced widely rather than densely. This exposes each plant to more sunlight, air, soil nutrients and allows easier access to grow. In Shri, the plants are not required to be submerged in water. It is good enough for the plant's root to be moist as the purpose of irrigation is just to wet the soil. Since there is no standing water and no continuous submergence of rice plants under Shri, weeds tend to proliferate, requiring careful and frequent weeding. On an average, three weedings are required. The first weeding is done within 10 to 12 days of transplantation and then in the gap of 12 to 15 days until the crop has grown to such a level that the canopy obviates weeding. 